Hey, what's going on guys? Diesel 3016 here, and so you know, um, you may notice that I have a lot of enchantment of potions effects going on. That is because we are about to go underwater. We're about to go underwater because I have found a really cool site that I just wanted to show you real briefly here. So yeah, we're going to want to put on our, um, we're going to have to do some enchantment first. That is actually not required, so I'm not going to show you them. But you can figure them out if you'd like. Just take screenshots of it and then go into the game and do it. Anyway, we need to put on certain enchantments. Oh, they have a new design. That's nice. It does not affect the... So anyway, um... I'm gonna need that, um, and then... The rest, I'm just gonna need. So anyway, how do I look? Ready to go underwater. So anyway, I got potions on. Buckets at the ready in case. And we're pretty much all set. I have silk touch. So yes, anyways, um... Let's get going. So anyway, go in here. Hmm. Gosh, this is a mistake. I don't know why it just keeps doing that, but... Alright, try again. Here we go. So yeah, this is where I teleported, and guess what's over here? Woo! Whoops. So anyway, this right here is the coral, and yes, and yes, don't get too excited. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Got a little pesky. We go, we got some corals. And yes, one of the things, you need to have the silk touch enchantment in order to mine these coral blocks. Sorry about that, sorry. No, sorry about that. Wait, what's that floating in here? Oh gosh, this is so funny. I actually honestly never seen something like this. But anyway. Does that help? I know, this is weird. The coral reefs here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that glitched.
I seriously need to slow down. Uh, let's try taking off the turtle shell. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm a little bit glitched out when I found out that I was going way faster than I should. Now I keep missing the things that I shouldn't be missing. So, anyway. It's not because I'm holding control down all the time. Basically, it's because I have some enchantments on. I mean, effects on. I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, it's really, really cool. Now, this is probably a Mother's Day episode. And I might make an upload depending on... Whoa! Pufferfish! Oh gosh, oh gosh. Ha! We caught ya. See you later. Featherhead. I've kidnapped you. Now I can't wait to get back to my... Oh my god. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fish. Hey, hey, get back here. Oh my gosh. Stop being such a tool. Thank you. Tropical fish. Oh, that's nice. You know, what are, what are the weird things? And one of the weird things I'm about to do is I'm gonna do... I'm gonna make it easy mining. I'm gonna make it easy work for me. I can use the fill command just easy as pie. Positive Z, negative X. Whoops. Well, are you ready for this? Alright, that is much. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't realize. Dead coral. So anyway, I just... Try it this way. Um, oh, I got a dead coral block. I thought they don't turn dead right away. Or maybe that's just a bug. I don't like it when they just turn dead instantly. Like, Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we got it. You know, that's what I hate about these corals is that even though I set the tick speed to a lower rate, it's still gonna tell me that it's still going to um dry up very fast. Or let's go find on um, that. Oh great! Oh great! I think we lost ourselves. Wait, follow the corals. I see a beach. That's it. The command block. And let's try setting out a coral block. Hmm. 
Interesting. Wow, it turns dead. What are you staring at? Yeah. It sounded like someone was talking back. I was talking to myself. It's commentary, basically. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're doing on time. Let's try this. Is that a core block? Then wait a few seconds. It turns dead. Why, but beautiful looks always turn un ugly. And yes, they always turn ugly. Um, basically, um, hold on. I'm gonna need more chests soon. They're filling up kinda quick. I don't know how fast, but... Anyways, um, but so yeah, probably gonna want to locate some sea kelp. So yeah, let's go find a good source. And let's actually turn a area into a waterlogged cave. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Let's try it. What? Whoops. I think I made a mistake here. I requested negative Z positive X. Come on, just stop doing things I just don't want. That was useless. Oh! Oh, I get it. I get it. I just found out this. Okay, there's what this is. Oh, I get it. There's an entity called Cave Air. Yeah, we should now be, um, turning this whole, um, 
cave into like some type of underwater cavern. I didn't realize there was an entity called. There was an entity called Cave Cave. Now we're infiltrating caves now. Is that part of the deal? Hold on a second. Hold on. Now, what about that? Infiltrating the entire cave system with water. Wow, this is making it possible. Now we got a complete underwater um, ravine here. This is what makes it underwater. This. And now, for extra decoration, we're going to add um, magma blocks.
I'm going to start to add some bubble columns down and see how that's going to go. Whoa, whoa. Epic. An epic place. Like this. Oh, and so yeah, we're at negative x, negative z. Oh, we're back to negatives again. So basically, a lot of this is just playing around for fun. We trying to make the bedrock layer extra safe. I'm gonna go more for air. And here we go. We are at the cleaning process now. Yeah, basically, this is good news. You could drain out all the lava. Maybe we should find um, our base. Here we go. And then... The, oh, yeah. And the reason why we're taking lava out is because it's for safety reasons. It's a safety hazard to have lava in mines. In case you didn't know, it is a safety hazard. It can it can burn people to death. Especially expert miners should be careful when it comes to Yeah, safety feature, always drain out lava pools. Or else you are in for one heck of a living time. So basically, this is a safety feature, by the way. A lot of you don't notice, but the fill command can get pretty useful when it comes to safety. I'm gonna finish the episode just like that. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Um, and to finish off this episode, I know it's a bit short, so I'm gonna do this. But basically, I'm doing a mini challenge where I'm in the Ravenclaw Tower and I need to go through all the houses and get to the, um, Borough, I mean, more like the headquarters. So some of us is gonna sound familiar. I did find some areas, so that makes it a perfect challenge. So without dying, I'm gonna need to go and head to the Gryffindor Tower, which is next. The hardest is Slytherin, and then you go back up. So yeah, basically, that was the Ravenclaw Tower. So basically, now we're going to want to go down these stairs without dying. Uh, 
Clearly that makes sense. So yeah, gotta pay attention to the health meter. Cause that can be a threat sometimes. So yeah, now we gotta find the grand staircase. And head to the Gryffindor Tower. Okay, the game's lagging again. I don't know what is going on. And I don't think I do know either. Anyway, that's nothing to worry about. But anyway. Let's try these stairs. Yo, the objective is that you want to get... Through all the Hogwarts houses. Okay. It's the same mirror. I didn't even realize there's two of them. There's one in the dungeon and one here. Okay, then. Let's try going down this hallway. This might take some time, but that's far enough to do with what we're doing right now. Actually, never mind. That has to impact. Good grief. So anyway, we are actually now in the first courtyard under the what? Under the hospital wing. Now we need to get back inside. What's this tower doing here anyway? That was part of the rig. Oh, we were just down here. I'm certain that we were just down. Yeah, we were. I am certain we were just half down here. Well, that kind of screwed up real fast. Yeah, that really screwed up fast. Now I need to get over to the Great Hall. But will this game just... Would you stop lagging? Oh my gosh. I'm going to lose my mind if that thing lags on me again. Okay, I think we are now heading towards the Grand Staircase. Now we're heading the right direction. Yeah, now we're going to want to go up to the Gryffindor Tower. Yeah, we should pay attention. So yeah, that's Defense Against the Dark Hearts. Can't go there yet. It's not even time. We still have to go for all the rest of the houses. And, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. You know what, I'm going to restart this. So sorry about that. Um, There was a mistake. The game was lagging too much and I had to restart the game. So sorry about that. I don't know why it's doing that freaking tweak box. It's just being a pain in the R's right now. Anyway, so yeah, we were heading up. We were looking for a Gryffindor common area. Which is where we left ourselves at. This might be a bit confusing at first and a bit difficult to find, but we'll get there eventually. We might miss it. And yes, I did miss it. Why do I keep forgetting that it's on a certain... Oh, I missed it. Here we go. Gryffindor. The Gryffindor common area. Yeah, anyway, here's the common area. Right here. Go in here. And you have your dorms. 
Got a soul organized. Yes. Actually, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I changed my spawn. Whoops. I have to be reset to the Ravenclaw Tower, but. Anyway, these are actually checkpoints. They're supposed to be checkpoints. Oh, the beds are checkpoints. Yeah, the beds are checkpoints. Which means you, s you have to sleep in them in order to gain checkpoint access. But anyway, so yeah, now we're done with Gryffindor. Now we need to go down to one of the most difficult to enter. <sighs> Why you just please stop with the lag? Here we go, we got Defense Against the Dark Arts. The History of Magic. Down here. I'm going to need to set this in survival for this part, so... Hey! My apple! My item frame. I got this, um... I'm just gonna grab a random item. Yeah, I'm just gonna use melons. See how this goes. Oh, I dropped it again. Hold on. I'm just lost here. Oh. Break it? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to do that? It's what? So anyway, here lies the Hufflepuff area. And yes, we're already there, so... We can just go into one of the dormitories. They're yelled this time. I am worrying about the Slytherin dorm being the hardest to find. Because I was able to discover the sliver in common area. Here we go. Anyway, here it goes. So yeah, I'm gonna switch my game mode back to adventure now. And what you quit the lagging, for goodness sake. So annoying. That's why I hate about Tweakbox anyway. Even though you save a lot of money, it just causes problems. Like, the game would lag, updates won't work. Like, I am hoping to get an updated version soon. And I should make a backup of my data. So when the next one breaks down for some reason, 
I'll just try to get a new one. And I should not take the wrong bridge. I should take this one. This one's the one that takes us to the Slivering Dorms. It's in this building. All the other dorms are in the building behind me. So, yeah, that makes sense. The prefix bathroom up there. Just wanted to give you a quick mention. But that's not where we're heading. Yeah, we're almost done with the challenge. Sorry. It says dungeons. Since it was a long walk, we do have to make a checkpoint. And we gotta find Snape's office. It's gotta be somewhere in this bloody hell. This has gotta be several Snape's. Darn it. It's a lounge. Come on, come on, this has got to be it. Wow, I'm just in a lot of hell. Oh wait, what's this? How's it hit inside another one? Wait, here's Snape's office. Oh wait, there's no checkpoint. That's right, this is, this is an office, not a bedroom. We don't know where headmasters usually... Hang out for the night. Anyway, now we need to... We need to drop down into this area right here. We're twisting and turning here. I... Uh, Lagging is back. This probably means we're sensing and yes, yes, this is it. Slivering common area. I found it. I didn't find it in the last episode, but this is it. <laughs> Just want to be gender for Obia. <laughs> Or green beds this time. Yeah, anyway, this is actually our last bedroom. And yes, the leaky cauldron is probably our destination. Or, oh wait, the order. I think it's the order. So I'm not sure, but. Now we need to get out of here. And there's a way we can get out of here. Now we can go to creative. And escape. Wow. Okay. Never seen that before. So now we're going to want to go into here. This is our re-entry secret area where we re-entered castle start by going under and then back into the castle so now this is not the chamber i know but i know you may think it's a chamber but it's actually not anyway we have gone through all four dormitories now we need to go back to the main the great great hall or something like that like the big hall uh, what Okay, Ben. This makes sense.
Good grief. Enough with the lagging. The lagging is so annoying. It's even worse on recordings. Especially when worlds like this are large. This is a large file. Oh my head! Bloody popsicle sticks. Anyway. We should be heading that direction. Anyway, like we're heading to the Gryffindor Tower, but this time we're going to stop by the Fence Against the Dark Arts classroom, and we're going to go ahead and strike down and get into the Grand Staircase. And yes, we got one more level to go up to. Are you kidding? It's back! This lagging is just... Terrible lagging. Here we go. That's where we need to go now. Don't mind about that staircase. Done with our mini challenge. Yeah, here's the defense against the dark arts classroom. Yeah, it is Nocturne Alley. I remember it's Nocturne. So anyway, now we head head into the flu network. And will you stop the lagging? Yeah, you're gonna we're gonna wanna start in Nocturne Alley. Doggy place. Yeah, we're now hanging out in Nocturne Alley. So anyway, here's the wall. This is actually Diagon Alley. I don't know why it's called Nocturne Alley, but... So anyway, we are now at the Leaky Cauldron. And yes, our challenge is done. Yeah, let's set our spawn point, because there's no regular beds here, so. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, everybody.